All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second biannual uh, Convergence Players Radio Play. Uh, I want to thank everybody who auditioned. If some of you are in the audience who, who didn't make it into the cast, I still want to thank you. I want to let you know we had a huge huge turnout for auditions, an embarrassment of riches, uh, we chose these good people, and I'm regretting it already. <laughs> Just kidding, they're fantastic, you're going to love the show. Um, don't hesitate to laugh or applaud. Um, if you like the show, I'm, uh, I, I just want you to know that I had to write this script in three nights when I should have been working on my job. Um, so, uh, if you don't like it, it's because I only had three nights to write it. And if you do like it, it's because I'm a fucking genius. <laughs> um, and so without further ado... One thousand years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. Stone by day, warriors by night. We were betrayed by the humans we had sworn to protect, frozen in stone by a magic spell for a thousand years. Now, here in Manhattan, the spell is broken and we live again. We are defenders of the night. We are gargoyles. Previously on gargoyles. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> Double. <laughs> Sorry. Previously on Gargoyles meets the spectacular Spider-Man meets Young Justice. <laughs> the Manhattan clan has returned to live in the castle atop the Erie building, where they have been joined by the time-dancing gargoyles Brooklyn and Katana, their children Nash and Eduardo, and their gargoyle beast Foodog. Meanwhile, Lexington, Broadway, and Angela... That's me. ...were all offered the opportunity to join the Justice League's Covert Ops Unit. We just call it the team. Of course, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, moi, was also invited. Natch. Dude, you turned us down. Yeah, well, you guys would only let me join if I told my Aunt May I'm Spider-Man. And that would crash your mode? I, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but it would totally screw up my franchise. Franchise? Did I say franchise? I meant my secret identity. No franchises over here. Nope. None. I mean, that would make it sound like I'm just the intellectual property of some big corporation. <laughs> and if I were the intellectual property of some big corporation... Then you couldn't appear in this radio play. So if you don't mind... Uh, sorry. Carry on. I'd love to, but the three of you ain't have so much time we need to cut away for this. Let me break it down for you. It's night, the Manta Troopers have gathered and are up to no good. It's each one plays a musical instrument. I, myself, am on tenor sax. Now over here are three fine kittens singing back up. Introduce yourselves, girls. Name's Jade Wen, but you can call me Tessa. <laughs> Maggie Reed, a.k.a. Maggie the Cat. And I'm Felicia Hardy, the Black and speaking of black, who's the man with the underwater plan? Black man Trump! Who's got the crime, the time to do the crime? Black man Trump! Who do you know with his own hot tub show? Black man Trump! That's right, it's... Black man Trump! Celebrity hot tub! <laughs> with your host... Black Manta slowly rises out of the bubbling water. <laughs> Manta's guest tonight, Black Beetle! Who warned me? Black Beetle sits in the tub beside Manta. Ladies and gentlemen, what will they talk about? <laughs> okay, neither one saying anything. I thought this was a talk show. Okay, wait, I think Manta's about to speak. Oh my god! 
Rob is is just blasted Beetle with the laser eye beams from his helmet. Black Beetle has been completely atomized. He's dust. July 
Okay, I know you're wondering what everyone's favorite web slinger is doing in Minnesota. Well, technically, Spidey's not in Minnesota. Peter Parker is. Of course, I'm more of a biologist than a theoretical physicist, but when Ms. Warren gave Gwen and I the chance to see an honest and totally serious time travel seminar, how could I say no? Especially if it meant a little alone time with the lovely Miss Stacy. Sorry, not Gwen Stacy. Name's a Tana Satana. Same actress, different days. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we let Harry Osborne pick up our tickets. There was some confusion, and Gwen had to stay home. If I didn't know better, I think Harry was trying to keep Gwen and me apart. <laughs> Satan, Captain Marvel, what are you doing here? Calder, I'm performing my act here at the hotel for convergence. And I'm here, uh, on a routine patrol. It's not like Billy Batson came as Captain Marvel to win the cosplay contest. <laughs> I swear. Why are you here, Calder? Mission. I would appreciate having both of you on board. Uh, sure. Yes. Whoa, that's Satana and Captain Marvel of the Justice League. And that's Aqualad, Aquaman's sidekick. Don't call us sidekicks. <laughs> they must be expecting trouble. Better change in the old red and blue, because my spider sense is tingling. And my hidden sense is purring. <laughs> Bart, Satana, Billy, you're with me. Cassie, Angela, Heine, you and Wolf are our backup. Roger that. <laughs> Minutes later, our heroes are talking to lead scientist James Cacalios. <laughs> As you can see, we've created a prototype time travel device. Seriously? Seriously. Of course, it doesn't work yet. We'd have to run several million calculations before we could even begin to... Maybe I can help with that? Kid Flash races around the device at super speed, making adjustments, inputting data, etc. Ta-da! That's... that's amazing. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop, hold up, hold up. You just go, you just go whip up a time machine right now. <laughs> you know. Alright, dude, I'm cool. I'm cool? You know what? You cannot expect these people to believe this, okay? <laughs> Young Justice was built around reality. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy playing a guy with gills. You know what? Fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think this just might work. I'm a bit of a time travel expert myself. It'll work. Indeed. And that's all I needed to know. It's the octopus doctor. <laughs> I think you have that backwards. Well, backwards is kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Dr. Octopus. See, Doc, I told you you needed a better press agent. It's Man Spider. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're just being an ass smart. I'm <laughs> that to Wonder Girl. We need that backup. On our way! Dr. Octopus scoops up the time travel device. I'll be confiscating this for the night. Don't bet on it. It make it neuter of M. Zatanna casts her spell, and the device returns to her. She hands it to Kid Flash. Here, Bart. Get this out of here. Fast. No, his kinetic energy could activate the device. But it's too late. The time device <laughs> activates, risking Kid Flash, Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man, Aqualad, Zatanna, Captain Marvel, Wonder Girl, Blue Beetle, Angela, and Wolf into the time stream. Wow! We create a simple time travel device at Convergence 2016, and someone actually used it to travel through time. Never saw that coming. Anyway, while they're getting to wherever they're going, Let's check back in with Black Manta's Celebrity Hot Tub with your host, Black Manta! Black Manta slowly rises out of the water of his hot tub. Manta's guest tonight, Black Canary! Black Canary? That's a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boss. I, I 
hadn't seen a picture when I booked her for the show, and, and she had black in her name, so I figured, well, this is just awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Mantis just blasted Canary with his eye beams! Black Canary is dust! It's okay, computer, it's okay. You can sit down or log off or whatever. <laughs> Outside the royal palace, our heroes recover from their journey through time. Oh. <laughs> hey, where's Doc Ock? And where's the time machine? Elsewhere in Egypt, the immortal known as Vandal Savage has gathered some of his more enlightened colleagues. We will create or co op a network of operatives, place key individuals in key positions, make certain we are on the cutting edge of all new magics, not to mention every conceivable method of mind control. A little misdirection in those champions of stagnation, Prince Kufu, Princess Chaira, and the guards Toph and Isis will become our agents of change forcing the human race to progress on a more advanced schedule and allowing the Earth to take its rightful place at the center of the cosmos. Eleven pages ago, the astronomer Carl Sagan stood here and launched everyone in this panel room on a great adventure. <laughs> the exploration of the cosmos, revealed by science... Wait, sorry, it's still not that cosmos. <laughs> My name is Neil deGrasse Tyson, and I am trying to get going again. We're about to begin a journey that will take us from the infinitesimal to the infinite. We'll surf the gravity wave of space time. <laughs> the cosmos is also a story about us. One adventure with many heroes. Accept these terms, and the cosmos is yours. The cosmos is mine. It's the name I chose for my new villain group. I could have called it the Injustice League or the Sinister Six, but I chose cosmos. Are we clear? How disappointing. <laughs> this must be how Sagan felt. <laughs> God, I hate anachronisms. Indeed. Then you can hardly be happy to see Dr. Octopus. Another interruption! Who dared send you here to cross Vandal Savage? Yeah. Funny story. You did. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Hold up, hold up. You expect us to believe that everybody's speaking English and understanding each other in ancient Egypt? Look, Mr. Reality Police, there's a perfectly logical explanation for that. Oh, really? Yes! Well, please tell me. I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, you see, right after the heroes landed in the past, Satanus stood up. Zatanna stood up! Sorry, I kind of tune you out sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for your honesty. Now, uh, how about you cast that translation spell that allows everyone to understand each other so that it all sounds like English to the audience and to the high and mighty Mr. Kari Payton over here? <laughs> Satisfied? Alright, you know what you do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strangers, I, Prince Khufu, demand you declare your intentions. Prince Khufu, my name is Calderon of Atlantis. An Atlantean? Here in Egypt? Then you must be part of Vandal Savage's evil cabal. Guards, arrest them all! Vandal Savage has an evil cabal? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> So my future self instructed you to steal this device and bring it to me here, in my present, which is your distant past? Indeed. He believed that, together, we could alter the course of history. In that case, Doctor, welcome to the cosmos. It's, it's not, not that cosmos! cosmos. <laughs> 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 
Please allow me to do, introduce our fellow enlightened colleagues, Ted the Dom. I will take Egypt from that weak prince cuckoo if the last thing I do, you know, this morning. Arian, Lord of Atlantis. The time has come for Atlantis to rise again. Hippolyta, Queen of the Amazon. The world of men will suffer for their crimes. Beetle Blue. Hey, hey, for, for the record, this time, that backwards name thing, <laughs> I'm actually an alien scarab attached to a human ghost body in order to scout out this world for the reach. This is that big a spoiler. I can tell them if I want to. Yes, I can. Yes, I can! And finally, Nabu, a lord of order. That's a helmet. <laughs> yes, well, Nabu's in there. Like Beetle Blue, he requires a host body. I don't suppose you care to volunteer. Indeed, no. And now for something completely different, another super cool edition of... Black Mantis Celebrity Hot Tub! With your host, Black Manta! Black Manta slowly rises out of the bubbling water of his hot tub. Manta's guest tonight, Black Lightning! Uh, isn't... Black Lightning's supposed to get into Man, the hot tub. Man, get in the tub. <laughs> Black Lightning, you, you're supposed to... Oh, did I screw that up? Little bit! That's all right. <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> now I'm Black Lightning. <clears throat> I'm not getting in the tub, man. You'll just zap me with your eye <laughs> Get in the tub, man. No, I'm not going to keep doing that. <laughs> man, just take off, um, let's see. Not unless you take off your helmet. Man, I'm not taking off my helmet. Then I'm not getting in the tub. Very begrudgingly, Manta removes his helmet. <laughs> Once his helmet's off, Manta's afro is still shaped like his helmet. Mm. Oh, you don't want to get your hair wet. No, I don't want to get my hair wet. Not get in the tub. Lightning lowers himself into the tub beside Manta. Suddenly, Manta's afro frizzes out huge and ridiculous from the humidity. <laughs> God, man, has just blasted lightning with his shoulder rocket launcher. Black lightning is dust. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This has been Black Manta Celebrity Hot Tub. Oh, now back to our story. <laughs> Jaya Ra, he is Atlantean, traveling with an Amazon, plus a warrior who bears the same lightning insignia worn by Chathadan. Not to mention another Beetle Blue. Uh, actually, I go by Blue Beetle. Yes, I think it is an important distinction. Yes, it is. Yes, it oh, never mind. <laughs> and you expect me to trust these strangers? Who whom I love. I simply expect you to give them the benefit of the doubt. I think I might be able to help you. Oh, you can film CC, I got this boy. Oh, mighty Isis! Isis. Oh, who, who? Chayara, who summons me? It is I, Zatanna Zatanna. You are a stranger to me. How is this thing possible? In my past, your future, I summoned you before and uh, hereafter. Look, time travel makes tenses difficult, but please, use the connection that exists between us to know my heart. This I will do. But, Morto, if you fail this test, you will suffer the wrath of the gods. I like my eyes. <laughs> Isis and Zatanna fall into a mystic trance. Then... Her heart is pure. Well, she has a bit of a dirty mind about some boy named Grayson. <laughs> <laughs> but otherwise, her heart is pure. You can trust her and her friends. Then we may finally have warriors capable of defeating the cosmos. Just sit. <laughs> and so Kufa and Chayara, Kufu and Chayara don their nth metal wings to lead Alpha Squad into battle against the cosmos. I get it, I get it. <laughs> Soon our heroes are squaring off against their foes. But there's surprisingly little fighting. Ariel, you must see that this is not the way. 
in my time, you were a legend for having brought peace to Atlantis, not a war with the surface world. And Hippolyta, you were a second mother to me. You taught me to be a warrior, but you also taught me to use your lessons to fight for peace, not vengeance against man's world. Well, when you put it that way. You think perhaps we chose the wrong side? It would seem so. I'm going home. Me too. <laughs> really? It's going to be that easy. <laughs> Moving on. If we work together, I know we can cleanse the Beetle Blue, freeing the human woman controlled by the Scarab. How can you be so certain this will succeed? Because the two of you did it before, to me. I mean, it's before to us and later to you. There's a time to travel tense thing again. Anyway, shall we give it a try? We shall. You shall not defeat me! They totally will. <laughs> How are we supposed to say this? Just read it like it's written, and Lacey Chabert does it all the time. <laughs> As I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Suddenly, Beetle Blue's armor retracts, and the scarab falls off the back of its human host. I'm free. Hey, what's this? The helmet of fate? No, don't put that on! Uh-oh, too late. Silence! Silence. We, we are the boo, Lord of Order. Order. <laughs> Finally, my Lord of Order has awakened. The power radiates off this Nabooan wave, but I know one who can be of service. From Avalon, I summon Toth. <clears throat> Toth, the Lord of Wisdom, has answered your call, O oh mighty Isis. Toth, this woman has... No need to explain. This woman is being used as an avatar of great Naboo's power. And I'm something of an expert on avatars. Hi, my name is Avatar A. Stop, Clara. You won't see me, Terry. Not that kind of either. <laughs> I can sever the bond between Naboo and his avatar using these mystic kind of leaves. You think you can force face? With leaves? With leaves and the power of Isis, Osiris, and such. The power is yours. Did someone call Captain Planet? No! <laughs> then, by the power of Isis, Osiris, and Set, I order you to leave that body. No! You did it. I'm free. And trust me, that's the last time I pick up a scarab or a helmet or... Oh, hey, look, what's that on the ground? Look at that ring. It looks absolutely fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of order, my foot. Next time I'm totally going with the Lord of Chaos. <laughs> you know, that works even better than I thought it would. <laughs> I better write all this down in a scroll. The <laughs> beetle notices that Zatanna has tears in her eyes. Wait. Before we move on, I just want to make it clear that I'll be writing the scroll of Toth. Yes, you said that already. <laughs> and I'll be hiding it in a secret temple of Anubis, mm -hmm. inside the Sphinx. If you say so. That's an obscure callback to the Gargoyles episode brief. <laughs> and I just wanted to make sure everyone got it. <laughs> now I am Toth, bringer of wisdom. Also known as Toth, bringer of obscure geek trivia. <laughs> What's your point? Moving on. <laughs> Zatanna, it's all right, we did it. That host girl is free of Dr. Faith. I don't. Then why are you crying? Because I think I finally know how to release my father. So, a new disciple has been chosen by the wizard whose name must not be spoken. Uh, Voldemort? <laughs> no. Oh, uh, 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 very, very clever. The wizard's name, uh, I say the wizard's name, and revert back to my mortal self, leaving you to triumph. But Tethodon cannot be fooled so easily. You were one syllable away from being fooled so easily. <laughs> Never mind then. Time to fight! <laughs> 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 
So finally, some punches are thrown, and Captain Marvel seems to be getting the worst of it. For some reason, he's only a third as powerful as Teth Adam. The power of Zeus pales in comparison to my power of Amon. Maybe, but I also have the wisdom of Solomon. Do you think this wisdom will let you triumph over Teth Adam? You know, in my day, you had another name. Black Adam. Which means it's time for... Black <laughs> <laughs> Manta! Celebrity Hunter! Wait, what's going on? With your host, Black Manta! Black Manta slowly rises out of the open water of his hot tub. Manta's guest tonight, Black Adam! Hey, man. Get in the tub. <laughs> sits in the tub beside Manta. Ladies and gentlemen, what will they talk about? <laughs> oh my god, Manta's just blasted Adam with his eye beams. Black Adam is dust! Thanks for watching. This has been... Black Manta, Celebrity Hot Tub! <laughs> now back to our story. Wisdom of Salomon. <laughs> With most of the cosmos neutralized, Vandal Savage and Doc Ock are left alone to face Kid Flash, Wolf, Angela, Spider-Man, Prince Khufu, and Princess Shahara. You are outnumbered, Savage, but never overmatched. Indeed. But perhaps discretion is a better part of valor. Ooh, I like that quotation. Mind if I use it? <laughs> you could. Or we could both see this time travel device and escape and wreak havoc on the timeline. Yeah, no. <laughs> in a flash, Bart Allen streaks in and snags the time machine away from Ock. Yoink! <laughs> and almost as quickly, Spider-Man shoots a web at Ock. <laughs> and yanks him forward. Yank. Into a haymaker that knocks the eight limb scientist out. Punch! <laughs> Now that guy's still in the mode. Ah! Wait, Kid Flash, what are you doing? I'm dismantling this time travel device before it causes any more trouble. No! You're dismantling it before it can take us home. We're trapped in the past. Uh, whoops. Now I guess we're feeling the mode. <coughs> Randall Savage, I banish thee from Egypt. That's my punishment? Banishment? Yes, as long as I live, you are unwelcome in this land. Not much of a big picture guy, are you cool? <laughs> okay, fine. Cover me gone. There. I'm sure Savage will never cause anyone any trouble ever again. <laughs> well, what you dream? And so the conflict ends. The reign of Khufu and Shayara is preserved, at least for now. Uh, but our intent in but our intrepid time travelers are still lost in time. You cannot repair the device? No, sorry, I did too crash a job taking it apart. Then you fools have trapped us in time forever! Manners, Doc. If you can't speak until you're spoken to, I might have to whip your mouth shut. Don't you put that goo in my face! Hey, that's my line. <laughs> <laughs> and it only gets more disturbing when he says it. So what do we do? Zatanna, your magic is not powerful enough to move us through time, not even with the help of the gods. If we really are trapped here, all of you worry too much. We do? Yes. For sometimes, the time stream provides. It does? How do you know? Because of something Brooklyn and Katana said to me before I left the castle this evening. Suddenly, the great burning phoenix materializes before them. Brooklyn, Katana, and Food Dog emerge. Angela, what are you doing here? Angela? This is the Angela who broke your heart? I... what? Nothing, nothing. There must be a problem with the translation spell. <laughs> I'm so... I'm telling you there is. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> Boy, these humans in cargo sure get flustered. Ah, tell me about it. Man, if I could talk, I'd teach them all a thing or two. Squirrel! Where? <laughs> Are we home? This does look like Manhattan. It's not. It's ancient Egypt. But where is Nash and Eduardo? Nash and what now? You're... Oh, wait. Uh, you must not have them yet. Do it younger. 
What is she talking about? Your future, my past. I'm here to tell you not to give up hope. And I better not tell you anything more except the date of my departure, July 2nd, 2016. Now, should we go in? I need to get back to Manhattan and Broadway. Angela, it's not that simple. We can't control the Phoenix. I'm guessing you won't have to. Just then, the Phoenix reappears! Huzzah! GPS is back online. <laughs> New York City, July 2nd, 2360. The gang lord Brick is about to pull the crime of the century. Okay, man. Time for a big score. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're introducing a new villain? Now? I kind of had to. No choice in the matter. Why? Because a certain Mr. Kari Payton insisted in his Convergence contract that this radio play would include every character he ever portrayed on Young Justice. <laughs> and that's not all. Booyah! <laughs> oh no! Cyborg is here to catch Brick! But he will never be able to do it alone. <laughs> Suddenly, the phoenix appears, and our time-traveling heroes emerge. Booyah! <laughs> Any more complaints, no, Superstar? No, no, this is fine. <laughs> Kari Owen. <laughs> yeah, you see what I did there? Yeah, Kari. And Kari Owen. <laughs> Kari Payton. <laughs> yes, I get it. Very clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just wrote that he wrote something very clever. I just want everybody to know. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> Once Brick and Dr. Octopus are deposited in Bell Rev and Ravencroft, respectively, the members of the team, plus their friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, and don't forget Captain Marvel and Zatanna, yes, all of them, all of them, all 68 of them, or however many there are, confer. Well, now, fearless leader, hmm, I have an idea. Follow me. Booyah! <laughs> and so, one last time, let's return to... It's called the wrong. Do not disrespect my son. Sorry, boss. I'm just trying to put the old black mantas spin on it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Manta turns toward the hot tub, uh, only to find it occupied by Calderon, Victor Stone, Bart Allen, Cassie Sandsmark, Satana Zatara, Billy Batson, Jaime Reyes, Angela, and Peter Parker, all in swimwear. Hello, father. I assume you would not mind if my friends and I used your hot tub. No, I uh, don't mind. Not one bit. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Your co cooperation is appreciated. Booyah! Wrap <laughs> it up. Who do you know with his own hot tub show? All together now! <laughs> Gargoyles, the spectacular Spider-Man, Young Justice, Black Manta, Celebrity Hot Tub, never the end! As Wolf, David. As 
Rich Kufu, Ty. That's Brooklyn, Dan. That's Beetle Blue, the host girl, Rachel. That's Wonder Girl, Kara. That's Pet the Don slash Black Adam, Steve. That's Toss, Anthony. That's Liz. I'm sorry, it's Isis, Liz. That's Captain Marvel, Steven. That's Carl Sagan, James. That's Neil deGrasse Tyson, James. James Kakalios, James. That's Dr. Octopus, Dave.